Well, welcome. The last hog. This is the last hog in this spot right here. We've caught a load of them, but we're showing this one first. And he's not too happy. Yeah. Pretty good teeth on him. That beast is down. Golly. What a beast. What a beast. <laughs> Welcome to the Yo Yo Show. We're starting right here with the last pig that needed to be caught, the big boar hog. We've caught tons of action, tons of pigs in this video, but we're starting right here with the big one first. And then we'll jump into the tons of pig action. Anyway, let me go back up here and get my ranger and we'll get started trying to get this dude loaded up. Get him situated and uh, good night. <laughs> what was it? What? Had to wash him off a little bit. Pretty good hog, eh? Golly. Pretty good hog. Looks smaller in that pen, but he's stout. I promise you that. Look at those teeth right there. Golly. Mm. Little teeth. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Well, what y'all think? That's like 35 pigs we've caught, I think, in this video, plus the other 16 that we caught, plus the other 13 we caught across the field over there. So <coughs> it's like 70 pigs or so. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get some shots real quick and we're going to take him on to uh, the pile, the buzzard. One more time. <laughs> you just saw the big boar, the last one on this part of it. We're just going to get ready to show you. It's going to slow down just a little bit to show you how all this came about to catch all of these hogs. But I want to show off what a big boar to begin with. So any which way, I'm taking this to the pile. I got to get going. We got things to do. I'm heading to Eden, Texas to try to find a turkey with my buddy JP. So from Matheson, Mississippi to Eden, Texas, if anybody got any turkeys on the way, let us know because there might not be none where we're going. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. I'm out. Get to learning how this just all happened. Look at all that hog tracks right there. Well, that's ranger tracks. <laughs> but anyway, oh, look at all this hog mess. They're just in here. Hogs everywhere. Oh, man. So... 
we are back on the piece of property where me and David McElwain caught like 16 or so here. This is a piece of property where I tore up my ranger in the creek and had to cross that old raggedy bridge and whatnot. That's where I'm at. So <laughs> I had more hogs. So this trap stayed here. And uh, this trap actually stayed here. And with the smell of hogs, more hogs end up showing up. So I just started putting bait back in here. And we got more hogs coming in this trap. So I come down here yesterday. This is why I'm here down here today since I didn't catch last night. I'll tell you why. The reason I didn't catch last night was because between traveling, I broke, I broke my antenna. That antenna is not getting the service out of here. So I brought in my other camera with, a, with another antenna. And it seems that we got really good service now. So hopefully that's gonna work and uh, whatnot. We got us one of those lithium batteries. I'm really trying it out. I think it charges a lot better. I'm not sure. I know it's a lot lighter, but uh, Griggs Car Quest in West Point supplied me with that to see how it works. So I really appreciate that, Brian. Oh, uh, so a little action though. This will be our view, right? Our normal view. <coughs> Excuse me, catching hogs. What I'm about to do, drive a T-post there, zip tie this T-post to this post, and we're gonna look down. We're gonna look down on these hogs and see if we can't get a good catch that way. Anyway, because you can't see it on there, but I got blurry, I scraped the lens on there, so I need a new lens. <laughs> I'll be tearing up everything, but anyway, I don't have a tripod or anything, let's get this done and I'll show you and then we're gonna get out of here because we wanna catch hogs tonight before I head to Cairo, Georgia to do some speaking. <sighs> okay, let's go. <sighs> ah, man, a bug just bit me. What is that, a flea? God, no, no, that's, oh, that's not even a flea. I thought it was a flea. That's ricochet off of that metal. It literally just stuck me in my arm. That's crazy. Oh, talk about thin skin. <laughs> oh, we got that drove in the ground. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Kind of got it up in the air. You can see I'm, I'm going to run to Hog Eye real quick. Ugh. Hog Eye Camera Systems in Crawford, Mississippi. <clears throat> so I'm going to run over there see if I can't get another globe. But basically, this, this is looking down in here. And y'all seen it on my panel traps, but I, I don't hardly ever do it on the round trap. So we're gonna try it right here and see what it looks like. But uh, I'm just gonna go to Hall Guy Camera Systems in Crawford, Mississippi, and see if I can't get a new glow for that. And if I can, I'm gonna run back down here as fast as I can. If I can't make it today, cause I got a lot going on anyway, then uh, we'll probably just catch anyway. But it's got a blur spot on there and I don't like it. I wonder if I can turn. Hey, I wonder if I can turn that thing upside down. Let me see, let me see. Ooh, it's turning. All right. I got the globe to turn. So let's see. Since I got that globe to turn, I'm going to look at my camera, see if I got the blur. I got the splot out of it. It may have moved that splot that was on there. It may have moved it to the top, and the camera's looking down. So we'll try it and see. All right. It seemed to have worked. So oh, oh, I still might have to go to Hall Guy Camera to work on this. Oh! Man, I just tripped in my ranger. And, uh, but we'll see. But either way, we're out of here. Let's catch peas. I done spent five minutes of your time. <laughs> just talking. Well, we are at the hill. We are where we can get stuff fixed at. But I can't film inside the place just right now because, you know, I don't want to give up no high-tech information. <laughs> but anyway, I found the problem. The problem is that right there come out of that right there so it goes in there and somehow or another i made it come out so anyway that's the reason my camera wouldn't work and i'm going in here to get it fixed so we'll see y'all in a little bit well we got new pieces we'll attach that and that and we'll be ready so Ain't nothing left now but to wait on some pigs or see what the rest of the day holds. Uh, let me have a card reader. Uh, let's roll. All right, I got a ton of pigs in this trap right here. I got a ton, but I got a lot of them right here 
on the edge right here. I'm just trying to, but that one hog, see how they just keep pushing them out? That one, mm, that one hog, if it was just come over here, just come over here and get out of the way. God. Anyway, we're trying to catch. We're trying to catch. Just want to act right. Just want to be bully hogs. See how that... I'm about tempted not to catch that one. But the rest of them would just come in while that one's gone. About catch. Man, it's just so many hogs. So one, two, three, four. So they just keep acting that way. So aggravating. Here we go again. If they would just get, if that hog right there would just go away. That's a big hog in the middle right there too. No, leave them alone. See how they even look at them. They just, they can see them looking at them. Look, boom, gone again. This is the part that aggravates me on trapping is is having those hogs like that right there that just, all you got to do is just chill for 30 seconds and give me the option to drop or not. But you can't, you're trying to time it. And if you miss those eight hogs, 10 hogs or whatever, then you just kind of mess yourself up, but... Sitting there with them anyway. But they're right on the edge. See, the corn is where they need, they need to be on the, they need to be on this corn right here. And uh to make sure that they're in that zone of getting caught. And everybody see? Oh. What's crazy is right on the tailbone of that one that bullies them. And they just won't quite I mean, just get away from them. And they got two hogs down here at the bottom. Two nice hogs. And there you go again. <sighs> well, I guess you can guess by now that I didn't catch them last night because they wouldn't act right. So what I did, trying to fool them. Now, I'm leaving town, so I got... 400 pounds of corn in here and i'm hoping maybe the big hogs you seen last night will eat over here more and then when there's smaller hogs will come over here this will be my line i can see my line right here so i know that the hogs are actually inside the trap last night i couldn't i couldn't just tell they looked like they were just like right here up against it and if they were that drought dropped being right there on the edge may not have caught them so we'll see that bully hog just ruined it a lot of it if that bully hog would have just left out for like Two minutes. Took a break. I'd have caught those other ones and just left that one for later. But anyway, 400 pounds of corn in here. They're going to eat good. I'm leaving. Leaving in the morning. So unless I catch pigs at 7.30 or 7 o'clock tonight to come down here and get them, uh, then maybe that'll be. They eat 200 pounds last night, so I put 400. So that'd be Friday night and Saturday night. I'll be home Sunday, and I'll feed them again, and hopefully we can catch this coming week. So this is how it really works, son. This is how it really works. All right, so you can't, it's raining and you can't tell with the fog and the, there we go. It's trying to lighten up a little bit, but these pigs have been coming in and I got to catch, <clears throat> finally catch these pigs, even though we're getting rain. Of course, we're always getting rain, but oh, it seems we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bigger hogs and eight, see, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's like to be about 17 pigs and a couple, couple of big nice ones in there. But uh, just looking to see what's going on. If they're doing anything or not. Like them just kind of eeling, messing around and whatnot. Y'all know how it is. <clears throat> but I just got the notification. So I'm just trying to check in their demeanor. Look at the steam. Like the heat or something coming off them. I don't know. But just want to watch and make sure that everybody is calm, cool, and collective. I want to make sure I can see all of them. So let's get ready and see what that's going to happen. Boom. And we just caught pigs. 8.35. They're running around. 
they got plenty of feed, and it's going to be rainy. We just talked in the last episode. I was like, where's the rain? Where's the mud? Well, it's here. It's right there. And we'll be ready in the morning. Looks like a good one right there. That little look like a good thick one. Good thick one. Yeah, we'll look at them in a little while. Daylight or whatnot. I'm just going to let y'all keep looking at them a little bit. Until they kind of calm down. I like for them to calm down a little bit. Oh. They're a good little haul, though. I'm going to get rest. My wife's already in the bed. And she's tired. Everybody's in the bed, so. I guess it's time for me to go get in the bed. All right, guys. Y'all seen the pigs? It's caught. We got a little rain coming. It's been rained all night. But there's one thing y'all ain't know. I got on that book face last night. Caught in the reinforcements. We got help today. We got a load of people. One problem we do have is we got more people than we got room on here. So somebody, I'm not going to say who, going to ride back in like the hogs do. Now, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. I ain't going to hook the winch up to you just yet. But if you fall off... I'm going to have to hook you up to the wind. Put your safety harness on. Mississippi <laughs> gumbo. <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to get loaded up. Like I said, we got some good hand draggers. And uh, today, I uh, want you to understand that we are we are going to knock the heads, but we are not feeding the families. Uh, this is a buzzard research program that's in uh, in the works for today's episode, and I'll explain all that later. But uh, first, we got to be able to get down there. The winch is broke, and it's a lot of mud. So let's roll. Good up there. Hey, come on. <laughs> Are you good? He like flipped it. Step on this end right here. See if you can break it down. There you go. Yeah, don't ever trust me when I when I close stuff. <laughs> so what happened was I dumped all the traps that I had in the back out for him to ride back there. And I told you we might have to put that safety harness winch on him. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, guys, is right down through there is the hogs. Another 50, well, 60 yards, 70 yards. And we're just gonna go down there and ease up on them. And uh, maybe they won't act too wild. And we'll get our pictures and videos and then uh, somebody will get on that head knocker and then we'll start doing it. And then y'all got to drag them all the way back where we come from. <laughs> Probably going to be the best help I've had in a long time. <laughs> Somebody done scared one. That's a thick one right there in the sun. A thick one yonder. Hard to walk in this old stuff. You ever had one stick around? And, uh, yeah, on the outside? No, no. Even them pigs. Yep.
<laughs> a lot of people think, I forgot to hit the play button, so we're doing this again. A lot of people think that we come up here and we're teasing them by being around them in the video and all that, but that's not the case. What we're doing is coming up here. They're getting used to our presence, our smell, our speaking, so they calm down and be able to take that uh, ethical shot. Hopefully, most time, one shot, you know, take them down. But uh, me, I'm a double tap kind of guy. So, anyway, you can see the pigs. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and knock these down and get started with dragging them around. All right, so the next project is we got to get the trap up. So, I'm going to show y'all how to get the trap up best we can without showing. So, what we need to do. Is I'll let y'all do it. We'll undo this. We'll undo this, and it'll go down there and hook on there, and then we'll winch it up and get started and uh, get some of this that don't look uh, such like a massacre. And uh, then we're going to talk about what we're going to do with these pigs. He might not feel like a pig trapper yet, but he's going to be one before we leave here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back and get the ranger. Just right around the corner there. Uh, let me see it right there. But anywho, get the gloves and the pocket drags and just teaching these guys and uh, what not. So I'm trying to teach them. I'm going to teach them how to drag. <laughs> I'm going to pull a little one. And we've got to see how many pigs we got too. So anyways, appreciate y'all joining in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. That's some pigs there. How many did y'all say it was? 17. 17 pigs taken out of this right here. Now, you got to remember, we just caught 16 not too long ago. And uh, now we got 17. Big old sow right there. Good gracious a lot. All right. That man said he needs some help. <laughs> that man said he needs some help. Uh, yeah. Oh, he is always getting away. Look at that man. You might have to help him out, JP. My hands is full. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't get that one, we can drag those. We'll drag them together if we need to. Oh, we got a load there right there, son. Watch it between your legs. That rooter will get you. That tusk don't hit your sweet spot. That's a good little old... A little sow too. Yeah, squat her down, son. <coughs> we'll put them piglets in there and we'll we'll drag that big sow. Be so ready. Lifting. That's a load right there, son. All right. Well, let's go find us a spot to put them. Yeah. We comfortable. It's starting to rain. You good? Oh yeah. Hold the hog down there for me. Get up here. Yeah. All right, so we. So guys, we got this dumped, and like I said, I know there's a lot of people who say we're 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 from the south, and we understand certain things like having to trap hogs to to eradicate them to help save land and whatnot. And I explained this a thousand times. If you're new here, this is mainly for you, you know, for you regular people that understand. But this is y'all have seen a bone pile before here. We are if it's to get a storm. I don't have people to take these today because of those storms and rain and uh, whatnot. So this will be our bone pile and our our dump pile and we're gonna put a camera over it and I'm, we're gonna try to get some info on how many buzzers show up because a lot of people always say even when i'm hunting or when we're at the trap why don't you gut them well the, here in mississippi the reason you don't gut animals where you kill them is because if, first, first of all if you're trying to hunt you're gonna you're gonna come in the next day and buzzers gonna be done roosted on your stand here they'll be done roosted on my trap and they poop and throw up and whatever else everywhere so a lot of people up north, y'all gut, you have to, where you leave and drag out. We don't do that here uh, for the buzzard reason because it just becomes even a more mess. But trying to explain, educate just a little bit so, you know, the bleeding hearts don't bleed so bad, but this is what we do. We're gonna, I'm going to show you, or try to, eventually, I'm going to get this information off our cameras and show you how quick the buzzards clean up things here. 
And of course, it'll have to probably be after the storms and whatnot. So uh, as it warms up. But any which way, uh, we knock the heads and uh, help this landowner one more time. So if we can get out of here as the rain comes in. Y'all ready? Let's roll. It's breakfast time. Look, this man right here already making fun of my ranger. <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to go back down here and put some corn in there. I didn't take it to begin with, but uh, anyway, we pulled back up. That man said, somebody burning. I'm like, shoo, that's a yacht yacht right there. It be burning. <laughs> anyway, we're going to run down here real quick and put some more corn out and get it ready. And I keep talking about this rain, but the Lord's helping us out right now. So why he's helping us, let's roll. No kissing. boys ready to eat and working look that man done rolled straight up to the he going to the door before anybody get there <laughs> <laughs> oh, time to eat, son. <laughs> guys i want to show y'all something we just got back from eating breakfast it is 10 06 and i've got these pigs this is that second group of pigs that was with the other group but separated and look at this look at the amount but i got pigs too close to the edge and walking around but it's daylight we were just there I'm talking about just there. We're going to catch this group. I just don't know when yet. Maybe tonight. They're just close. See how close they are to the edge right there? I don't want to miss any. But it's a bunch of them. I think it's like 16. Guys, we, we were just there. We're going to run all around. Carrying on. Golly. So we caught 17, and we got like 16 or 17 here, right here, right now. Golly. That's crazy. This is crazy, man. It is, God, it's another pig. They're just, I just want them closer off that edge is what I like. I like for them not to be so close. I feel like I'm going to miss a few of them. Not that I'm worried about it because they're small pigs. We can always get those again, but, man. If that one pig right there would just move in, you know, at least get a chance at catching him instead of just knowing I'm not going to catch him. But there's also pigs in the back back there that just right on that edge of could slip out, could not slip out. But, boy, if we just caught 10 of these, that put us at 27 for today. Mm, I'm still waiting and watching. So... They all seem to be leaving. The little ones seem to be having their feel. Could never get them just to act right. Just, I want to be greedy. I want to get all I could. And it, trying to get one or two that wasn't in there probably cost me this whole group for today. But that's all right. There'll be more. They'll come back. They're not scared. They're not spooked. And uh, it'll work out to where we're supposed to get them. But now that y'all seen... How them hogs act. I have a little blur on that camera to the right there, but you can see they're going right back up that trail, back out into that field. So, anyway, if anything changes, I'll let you know. But see how when one or two, three, or four of them get going, and the rest of them just kind of figure out they're going to walk off with them, but they'll be back. They'll be back. <laughs> oh, you can't see nothing, but they in there. Look how close I had that camera. It all, the cage almost caught the camera. Y'all can't even, y'all can't even see what's in there. Golly, I can't even. <laughs> Talking about up close in person. That's a wad of them right there, old son. God, that's a wad of them. Well, guess we'll be getting up early in the morning. That was at 8.42-ish. Well, there you go, guys. Took a little bit, but we just caught another load. All right, guys. Got help in the truck. More help on the way. You know what they say. When you see the gate, you head knocking away.
Let's roll. Well, showtime. Yes, All right, we got a man, Nathan. We got a man, Buzz, here. I got, I recruited more help. I have realized that having help just helps me. So they're going to get their work in on dragon pigs today. He don't, he's just hanging back here. He's just hanging back. <laughs> he won't ride with us yet. <laughs> so we are. Show up my y'all y'all hat. So proud of him. Yeah, the man got a y'all y'all hat. Now, Buzz, actually, you're the one of the reasons I've caught the pigs down here. I was out of town when I went to Georgia. And he actually went by and bought corn for me. And then that, that Sunday, the co-op wasn't open, but I had corn. So we caught more pigs because of you. <laughs> Now we're headed on down here. Introduce them to the head knocking and the pig dragon. Come on. All right, so same deal again as we had. We had the young man help another day. Nathan, uh, he is actually the one, if y'all saw the, the video, I guess the video hog catch previous to this, he's the one that helped find those pigs for me to go trap. Uh, so, and then Buzz here, this is my neighbor right here. Just a man, if you need your grass cut, <laughs> this is a man that can do it. <laughs> this man, hey, this man burns his own grass off and then names every blade that regrows. That's how good he is. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. There's a lot of names out there. <laughs> but anyway, I want them to have the same experience. I'm going to get the head knocking gun, and we're just going to do like we did the other day. We're going to walk around here. Uh, he's never experienced this, and uh, which he's from Colorado. Can you say hello? How's it going? Did you meet everybody? <laughs> <laughs> but any which way, um, not that that's a bad thing. I went to Colorado one time, and I went on an elk hunt, but it turned into an expensive hiking trip. Right, right, pretty much. That's what it usually does. <laughs> I actually got sick and hitchhiked 17 hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I, come, I was Now going. you know why he picks up hitchhikers at night. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be good. I picked up a hitchhiker yesterday, and he got in a truck. He's like, hey, thanks, man. And then he go, he looks at me and goes, man, you dress like you're trying to hide from women or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's all of us these days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to eat around here and see what we got. And uh, it's going to be a load. This is all right. One of them jumps out and starts running after me. I know I'm just nah. going to climb that tree right there. Yeah, it's already got a ladder up there on that tree for you. <laughs> <laughs> that one's big That's a bullet. Best day, the first best, the, 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 it may be the fourth. Right. Started out when, when I found Jesus, and, and, and then I got married. Right. And then I had both of my girls. That's right. This that's right. This is, the fifth, one. This, is the best, this is the fifth best thing I've ever done in my life. It's all right. We did a good job. That's a good load right there. Yeah. David, I believe this one wants to be taken home to a pet. Yeah, you pet it in a, in a plate. Yeah. That, that mama, she's been running that fence quite a bit. Yeah, she's hurt a little bit. We're going to get her knocked in a minute. We'll get her. This trap's bigger than it looks on camera. You know, well, this... It don't look that big. This is way bigger. <laughs> hey, uh, you didn't tell me that with this cool weather, it was going to be all these flies down here. <laughs> <laughs> I know why you always do it. That's it. I always... <laughs> I figured this type of weather 
flies would be away, but not around these holes. There, that is a load. Tell you what. So, a couple weeks ago, we caught 16 here. And then we caught 17 a couple of days ago. And now, we, ever how many we got right here? It, it feels like 20. It may not be, but this is a load of pigs caught in this spot right here. So, look at that. Think so? That man can count. I can't count. Look at my fingers. One, two, three, four, five. He didn't count 21 out there, what he said. That's that Colorado education, baby. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good day work, Ian. Whoop, whoop. Brought to you today by Springer's Dry Goods. Existing since 1955, Maven, Mississippi. <laughs> What you're doing? Yeah. You'll show so what I'll, you like. That thing yeah. is back here. Yeah, it's back here. I better find some grip. <laughs> First haul to drag. We put her up there at front. It don't matter. We'll figure out a spot. Boy, doing a good job there. They fly around down here quite a bit. I guess. And it doesn't seem as many when you stack them tight. Yeah. Right. But that's what. 21 pigs, right? Yeah. And what we say, we caught 16, 17, and 21. And the calculator said that's 54 in that spot right there. That that, that spot right there. Hey, guys, that spot right there. That's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 54 here in this one spot and they just keep coming but we keep catching them but anyway we're gonna get some uh pictures and then we gotta load them up in the ranger and haul them and get ready for the bu the buzzard research program that i'm putting on down here <laughs> <laughs> and it's not funded by any government program <laughs> <laughs> so, so Buzz has been doing a lot of work. He's doing all the stocking, stacking, and whatnot, and he got his gloves on and pulling all that. A while ago, <laughs> his ear started itching, so I started raging in his ear. I got my gloves. I didn't want to touch my ear. <laughs> so I scratched him in his ear. Oh, and we get ready to take a picture. He had his glasses covered up to y'all, y'all. So I take his glasses off. I said, hey, y'all want to take some pictures? He said, yeah, my phone's in my front pocket. Mm -mm. <laughs> the boy has finally found his limit. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll send you a picture, son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, doing a fine job. I kind of like this position. <laughs> Being in charge? <laughs> Everybody always asks me why I, don't, uh, why I don't put my hands on much, you know, <laughs> when I got help. I mean, it's, you know, somebody got to film a better view, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> We done work, Dave, and he's going to be coming by the house right. all the time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you want to go hog hunting? <laughs> well, see, I got an event today in Greenville, Mississippi. See, I got to speak, and I can't be wore out from, you know, picking up pigs and stuff, you know. Dragging those pigs affects my speech. <laughs> hey, David, you ready for this? <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to drag that one. Oh, man. I'm telling you guys, that's good help right there. I'm gonna tell you something. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to bump him up to a one thousand or better. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Any and all donations, you can go to yoltyolt.com. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking upgrades for the one thousand on the range. We're gonna have to leave this one. Yeah. She's full. She's full. <laughs> all right. We we'll, we'll drag her out. <laughs> so, Buzz just asked that he said that he thought we'd get muddier than this. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's well, the bad. thing is, what I've learned about getting help when it comes to these pigs is don't give them the full experience right off the bat or they won't come back. <laughs> 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 anyway. Work this in. Right. Work it in just, just a little bit, gradually. So, anyway, I appreciate the help. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go dump these hogs, and then uh, I got to get cleaned up, you know, because I'm nasty and everything. I got so nasty do, doing everything, so... It's rough. It's a jungle, baby. Right. It's got to be Tarzan. <laughs> we'll see if this old thing will pull us out of here. And, uh, it's going to be a load.
a picture. <laughs> Buzz his wife, ain't he? He's having time of his life. Okay, so you, you got the ones you want? Yeah, these two work. Okay, all right. So he's taking some. But this, I got my little camera set up, and I'm going to bring my other camera, my live feed camera over here when we get started. And like I said, we are, I know, and, and I explain this a lot of times, a lot of people love it when I do this, and then I'm feeding the families and neighborhoods, and I get it. But this is a situation here uh, the other day with thunderstorms, and then today uh, I've got events. They've got other things they need to do, and I uh, just don't have the time. But I'm... First and foremost, I'm a hired trapper to get rid of them. And then the bonus is we get to feed the families, but this is just a situation where we're not feeding families, but we're gonna do a little research on buzzers and kind of explain that. Again, you've heard me say it before, and I'm saying it again, to reiterate, to reiterate, to make sure uh, for the people that don't understand, I'm trying to help you understand. So, anywho, man, these, these guys don't come best friends. Uh, Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Every time I meet people, they say, hey, me and my kids love your stuff, or don't like your stuff, or whatever, and, or my kid wants to meet you, and really appreciate what you do and whatnot. I always tell those kids, you know, in a laughing matter, but a serious matter, be good to your parents. Don't give them no trouble, and do right. Because sometimes kids, they need to be told by somebody else because they don't listen to the parents sometimes. So, I just always want to know it. Respect your parents. Listen to them. See what they do. And just try to do right. Let's get this stuff put up. Get ready to roll out. When we had our water cut on, got BS with them. like, you ever done any forest work and firefighting this and that? And so, yeah, that's what I did. You know, I went to yeah. school for forestry and everything. And yeah. I fought fires until I was, oh, what, 24, 25, and, and got into the oil field and got out of it. And he's like, well, we're looking for something. You want to come work for us? Like, Why not? Heck yeah. I've been knowing him ever since. He was great people. Yeah. Real good people. Mm. Yeah. That man just said he tried to put a fire out for 24 years. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> In Colorado, that, it could happen. No. I'll tell you one thing. We've had some fun here. Yeah. I it's told him I said, ever since we got here. Yeah, yeah. them two best friends right there. <laughs> Look, they, <laughs> they didn't shun me. Right? <laughs> they didn't shun me out of the way. <laughs> we fooling everybody. Here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, uh, hey, hope y'all enjoy this double drop. Uh, it's 54 total we've caught there, but 16 and 21 ever how many that adds up to be in that in that one spot on this video so pretty good drop pretty good hit the landowner's happy i'm happy i mean i ain't hardly had to drag no pigs this whole episode so uh i mean i get you get a boar haul y'all wanna go cook some uh fuzzy wuzzy yes, right. yes definitely. <laughs> i saw that video the other night I, that yeah looked great my wife said you cook that in my house with my with my kitchen stuff <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I ain't allowed to cook inside no more. So right. uh, I really got to get an outdoor or we got to go to their house and cook. So <laughs> any which way. Hey, y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to yachtyacht.com. Help the channel out. I appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Catching Hogs. And uh, like I said, we're doing some buzzard research. I appreciate Man, that was a mosquito. A big one. Gosh, that was a I big know. We'll have to get 22 on him. But any which way, y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. <laughs>